It's very slim lined. <laughs> slim lined. <laughs> I give up. Without clumping, huh? Hmm? Hmm? You sure about that one? Does that make me a proper influencer? Have I just gone up in the world? The things I end up buying when I'm stuck at home multiple days in a row. To be fair, that is most of my life anyway. But today's video is one of the bougiest purchases I've ever made. Well, definitely in terms of makeup products. So I was just scrolling down my Facebook the other day and I got an advert for this Gucci mascara. First of all, I didn't even realize that Gucci, I know that they had a makeup range, but I thought it was just lipsticks. Turns out they actually have a fair few products. But the thing that caught my eye about this Facebook ad is the mascara looked like the clumpiest mascara I've ever seen. And I know that obviously they're like a high fashion brand, so they were probably trying to make it look high fashion. I'm guessing that's just for the promotional pictures. I wanted to see if it actually turns out like that because this mascara was not cheap. This mascara was 30 pounds, but I ordered it online. When it arrived, it came in not only a Gucci bag, which was inside a box, which was also plastic wrapped and said like security checked on it. You get the letters that come if you buy like a designer bag and then the mascara comes in a dust bag like you would get if you were buying a designer bag. And then inside here, we have the mascara which is wrapped in plastic, then in a box, which I think is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen for a mascara. Let's just get into this. It's gonna be a full in-depth review. I'm gonna be wearing this all day and seeing how it lasts and seeing if this is actually worth the 30 pounds that I spent on it. If you're new here and you like this video, I would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out. Also, if you wanna stick around to see more videos from me during your time in quarantine, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications as well because I'm gonna continue to upload as much as I can. I'm gonna try and get back to doing three videos a week. Let's put this on my face. So I actually got this advert multiple days in a row when I was just scrolling through my Facebook. So Gucci clearly really wanted me to buy it. It's called Mascara L'Obscure. That can't be what the mascara looks like because it just looks so bad. The ultra rich creamy formula builds volume, I'm gonna hold them to that, while curling and lifting the lashes, adding length and definition with a long wearing finish. That's basically claiming to do everything. So the time is currently 2.45 in the afternoon. I'm gonna wear this probably until midnight. One of the bullet points, Okay, rich creamy texture adheres to the lashes for a long wearing smudge and flake proof finish that lasts up to 12 hours. Buildable volumizing formula thickens lashes without clumping. <coughs> without clumping, huh? Hmm? Hmm? You sure about that one? Anyway, let's just get it out. <laughs> <laughs> things are getting wild up in this quarantine. It has a nice box, it is recyclable, which I like to see. On the website, it looks like it's a pink matte tube. However, the tube itself is more of a nude color, I would say, and it's glossy rather than matte, not that that really makes a difference. Packaging does look very nice. It's very slim lined, <laughs> slim lined. <laughs> I give up. All it says on it is Gucci, that's it. So these are what my eyelashes look like beforehand. You can't see them too much. I do actually tint my lashes these days, but when they're covered in foundation, you can't really see that that well. Um, but my lashes, my lashes. <laughs> My lashes. My lashes are naturally blonde. They are quite long, um, but you can't really see them until I put mascara on, but we're about to see what this does. Handle bit is metal, so it feels kind of weird. Like it's very, this handle is very heavy. The brush looks really nice. It's got really, really short little plastic bristles. And did I even bring a mirror over here? Let's do one eye first. Oh, considering this is the most I've ever spent on a mascara, I'm expecting it to be the best mascara I've ever tried. Well, you know what? The first coat isn't bad. That's actually pretty decent looking for the first coat of a mascara. Oh, it is a bit messy though. It's getting on my eyelids. Wow, okay. It's really lengthening my lashes. At the moment, not getting masses of volume, but I'm definitely gonna add a few coats like I normally would. I like the brush though. It's really easy to get into the inner corners because it's so skinny. Well, so far, it is not looking anything like that advert. If in the description it says clump free and it can look like this, why would anyone want to buy the mascara after looking at these adverts. Who is gonna buy that after seeing those? Well, other than me. <laughs> oh no, I think I just laughed and got it on my, yeah, I got it up here. Okay, so it's a little bit messy. It's quite a wet formula. I'm gonna go in with another coat and see if we can build the volume a bit. I'm not getting a crazy amount of volume with it and it is starting to clump a little bit now. I do like a relatively clumpy eyelash, but as long as it's got volume as well. 
Wow, okay, on my lower lashes, that is working wonders. This is what it's looking like after a couple of coats. As you can see, it is definitely starting to get a bit clumpy, and it did get quite a lot on my eyelid. It looks pretty decent though, I'll give it that, but not as good as some of my drugstore mascaras, to be honest. I'm just gonna get a cotton bud to clean up this mess. Okay, well those little mistakes came off pretty easily. Positive so far, it's really black. I like the brush because it's really skinny, so you can really get into your inner corners. It is making my lashes look nice, but I paid £30 for this, and I've got mascaras that are £10 that give me more volume. I've just realised this is my first ever Gucci purchase. Does that make me a proper influencer? Have I just gone up in the world? The more layers I apply, it's definitely getting too clumpy. Maybe on the photo shoot, they were putting the mascara on the models, and they were like, "Oh, it's looking a little bit clumpy. Do you think maybe we should just overdo it and make it look intentional because that's kind of what it seems like to me to be fair this on my lower lashes is really good yeah look this literally got all over my eyelid by the way i know that this clumpy spidery sort of eyelash look is not for everyone i just personally like to build up my lashes volume as much as i possibly can and to be honest with you my lashes do look good but if this has the audacity to flake or smudge or anything like that throughout the day I'm not going to be okay with it. So this is how my lashes are looking. They do look a little bit clumpy, but overall I think they do look pretty good. It's definitely lengthened them a lot. But I'm going to carry on with the rest of my day, check back in a few hours, and then also, well, I guess just check back if there's any changes and letting you guys know how this holds up. We'll see how that goes. Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> oh, I actually do. Right, guys, so it is now 8.52. In the evening, I sat down to eat my dinner and my mum was like, oh, come here, you've got something in your face. And she picked off a little bit of mascara that had like crumbled off and fallen onto my face. I am noticing that it is starting to transfer a little bit under my eyes. There's a little bit here. There's a little line here where it's touched my eyebrows and it's starting to transfer up here. Um, on this eye, there's a couple of spots and a tiny bit just there. It is starting to transfer. Hopefully you can see like here, um, there's a few like mascara crumbs around and then here and here. I would expect with most mascaras that throughout the day you would get a few tiny little flakes maybe on your face but the thing that I hate with mascaras is when they start to actually transfer and like smudge like this one has. So, so far I'm not very happy with it because I've got mascaras that are way cheaper than this that don't do that. It's not extremely bad and maybe it's just me because I've got oily skin I did just go and powder my face. Um, so I guess it transfers into the oils that are under my eyes and stuff, but uh, I just don't really want this to happen. And it doesn't happen with all my mascaras, and I know that for a fact, so, so far, I don't think it's worth the 30 pounds. Did I even turn my mic on? Yes. 2,000 years later. I don't know what has happened to my hair in this time, but it is 11.45. And to be honest, my face has got more oily. The mascara smudged a little bit more up here. It hasn't smudged much more under my eyes but it's still got the little smudges down here and definitely up here and on my eyelid which i'm not very impressed with like it's not too bad i've had other mascaras that are worse but when i'm paying 30 pound for a mascara i don't want this to happen it hasn't really flaked it's more just like smudged up here no thank you right so i'm gonna leave this here even though it's like 8 55 i probably would have just just done a later check-in but while i'm still looking like this and no one has gone to sleep i'm gonna film my outro so overall to conclude it was not worth the £30. In my opinion, don't think it's worth the Gucci price tag. I'm now just going to answer a question of the day. If you guys have got any questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. Today's question comes from Fiona Bapti, I think. And she said, do you have a moving date yet? Even if you don't, are you excited? By the way, you are very beautiful with and without makeup. Oh, thank you. So I have been told that we are near the point of exchange of contracts, which means I should be getting a moving date next week. As in, I'm not going to be moving in next week, but next week, over the course of the next seven days, I should be given a date for when I will be moving in. And I reckon it's probably gonna be in a few weeks time. Um, so fingers crossed, that all goes to plan. And oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous because with the current state of things, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to get stuff like furniture delivered and things. And currently because both me and James live at home with our parents, we don't have things like sofas and beds that we can take. Well, I do have this bed that I'm filming on, but I'm actually leaving this bed here because it was a bitch to assemble it. And honestly, I think if we disassemble this bed, I don't think we'll be able to get it back up again. <laughs> I will be taking the mattress though. Um, 
but yeah the only like furniture stuff that I've got already is like my makeup drawers and my mattress and that's about it we don't have a dining table we don't have a sofa we don't have a bed frame um so there is a lot of things that we need to get and i'm not sure how easy it is to gonna be to like get hold of them we'll see but i am very excited and i will be doing some moving vlogs so i can't wait for those as well and i can't wait to like decorate and everything so yes i'm very excited right i'm gonna go now i hope you guys are all doing good if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next video bye